Okay, so here is the latest OpenCV project. Uh, so basically what I decided to do here is I decided to create a web page, right? But a mobile web page that allows me to take a picture from the camera on a smartphone. It then sends that picture to my server. The server processes the picture with OpenCV, and then you get the result back showing uh, basically whether or not um, an object was detected in the image. So what's really cool about this is this this is no framework. This is SANS framework. This doesn't use Swift. This doesn't use Java, anything like that. Basically, this is all HTML with a teeny tiny, like four lines, literally four lines of JavaScript uh, that essentially just sends this to the OpenCV uh, scripting system that we have on our server. Uh, and I think this is kind of cool. Um, this is one of the examples, one of the reasons I want to show you this is because so many times, um, especially startup founders, when they want to start developing their app or their company, uh, they start getting into this whole discussion about iOS versus Android. Um, and then that gets to be a bit of a disaster. What a lot of people don't don't realize is HTML5, so basically just HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, you can do a whole hell of a lot that'll work on just about everything. So this will work on iOS, this will work on Android, Theoretically, I guess it should work on Tizen or something else, right? Uh, basically, as long as it's HTML5 compliant, uh, it should work. Uh, so like with this, right? No no fancy stuff here. Uh, I click on this choose file. Uh, so again, this is just basic HTML. I can modify this if I use some more JavaScript. But what I can do is I can do choose file. That actually just automatically opens up the camera. So as you see there, it automatically opens up the camera. I will flip the camera around to look at me. So you're seeing me, I smile. Add a picture, right? I then do use photo and this goes through, it automatically processes. So it detects, uh, detects that there is a face in this image uh, and it tries to do a bounding box. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the bounding box here. So the CSS bounding boxes have worked perfectly uh, since I created them. Uh, there might be something with just the, the resolution and the scaling on here. Trying to do steal, try to deal with scaling with a responsive web design can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, if I wanted to continue working on this project, I would figure it out. But frankly, I, <laughs> I've learned what I've wanted to learn, right? Uh, but let's see, uh, if I click on this uh, and I just take a picture of something else entirely random, just do a picture. Picture. Just to show you, I simply do use photo. It goes up. It's currently getting processed. It responds back. Uh, we get this gray box like we did before, and we don't get the bounding boxes. Uh, again, since it's open CV, um, I can go up here. I can take a picture of all these faces. So all of this processing is being done uh, on my little server. So it's being done on this thing. Make sure that thing's on. <laughs> make sure, make sure it's on. Doesn't process if it's not on. Um, I do use photo. It's going through. It's processing. And look at that. So I found all of these. Ooh, <laughs> it's probably too many. Oh wow, weird. Oh look at that. Actually, you want to say open CV is uh, pretty accurate. So it got all of these people, right? So it got all of those people that I was expecting. And then it actually detected all those little teeny tiny ones down at the bottom too. Um, so there you go. So this is just kind of an example of uh, what you can do with uh, just a good old good old fashioned uh, HTML. One of the things that I did here is you'll notice I do not have a submit button. I simply do choose file. Once the file is chosen, it auto uploads. Um, I did add this JavaScript, uh, JavaScript script here. Um, that's pretty good. So basically what this is is so my form right my form the ID for the form is take picture basically what this does here is it says when the take take picture form changes so essentially when I select an item to upload then uh, it'll automatically click the submit button for me uh, so that's kind of like a useful thing again for UI because like with this uh, hold on one second. It, lo it locked. Don't want to show you my wife's password. Uh, but like with this, so instead of having to have a submit button here, what's nice is, again, like I say, you can just click that and then you can uh, boop, take the picture and then you can just simply use the photo and you don't have to worry about hitting that submit button. Uh, 
Yeah. So there you go. There is just a little web app. And uh, and again, this is this is one of the things I push with a lot of technology professionals because again, when you're creating a startup company, one of the biggest issues is trying to figure out if people actually want your product. <laughs> Right? That, that's, that's the real question. Before you get to client acquisition costs, before you get to uh, profit loss and all that kind of stuff, one of the biggest questions is, does anybody give a damn? And so one of the big problems you have is that people develop either for Android or iOS, and then they realize, oh, well, people on iOS want to use my product, but I don't have a version. So then they port. So all the time and energy they spent creating the, the Android one, then they port it over to iOS. Then, then they, they have all the lessons learned and then they need to modify not just the iOS but then they also need to modify the Android and this starts to be a lot of work and so what a lot of people don't realize is with HTML5 if you look at the HTML5 APIs there are a tremendous number of resources you can connect to on your phone you can connect to GPS on your phone you can actually make your phone shake and buzz like obviously you can connect to the camera you can connect to storage you can do Let's just say 98, 98% of anything that you would want to do with a native app, you can actually do with HTML5 APIs. And if you create something in HTML5, by default, by default, it'll work on iOS, it'll work on Android, it'll work on a Mac, it'll work on Linux, it'll work on Windows. You can get all of those users actually using your app. Then you can figure out what devices your users, your most likely users, are want to use. And then you can get all of the lessons learned. And then from there, right, create your pro prototype uh, in, in HTML, essentially. And then once you get your lessons learned from there, then decide what the most valuable market to go into is. Um, again, this is just one of my advice for a lot of people, because again, they, they just dive into iOS or Android. And uh, what you realize is HTML5 can do a lot of cool stuff. Um, so anyways, there we go. That's our little web app. Uh, I will upload this, uh, the, the code, the code to GitHub. Um, I don't know, this is kind of a bit of a dead end for me. Like, I got it working. I mean, it, it functions, obviously, but it's not, you know, <laughs> it's like one of those, like, yeah, it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Ah. Anyways, it's Friday. I'm going to go have a weekend. See y'all later. Oh, do remember to thumb up and comment and whatever else on these videos uh, to try to get YouTube to think that um, you actually care about this kind of content. See y'all later.